Hi guys, in this video I will be sharing my first impressions on the new Rouge Dior lipstick. If you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi guys, I'm gonna skip my usual intro because this is just gonna be a very quick video. I got my hands on the new Rouge Dior lipstick and there was only one shade because the other shades I wanted to get were have not yet been delivered or have arrived but I wanted to come on here and give my instant first impressions. I have it on right now and I will insert a clip of me trying this on earlier somewhere in this video. So I'm gonna begin with some basics. The price point, this is 52 Canadian. The packaging, unlike old packagings, this is more like a matte box, but it still looks the same. But it's the bullet itself that is just so gorgeous, you guys. It is a very sleek kind of matte finish with a canage still here. And then the Christian Dior logo. So let me show you the the previous packaging. This is the previous packaging. You have the Kanajan Silver. It's a shiny bullet. Look at how sleek this is. Look at the difference. Okay, first things first, this is, you get 3.2 grams, so you get the same amount, but because of the price increase, so it's $2 more, so now it's 52 Canadian. I think it's about equal price now as a Chanel lipstick. The shade that I have and that I got is 505 Sensual Matte. This is my favorite nude shade when it comes to the Rouge Dior. Forgive me, I've done a video before this, so it's quite shiny because I did apply a Dior Lip Glow Oil on top. It's just a preference of mine. I love a matte look. This has a beautiful finish, and I will show you how it looks without the gloss with the try-on, but it's just for me aesthetically, I don't know why. I just like putting a topper in the middle of my lip. So, that being said, I really wanted to get 999 as well. Obviously, that's always my first choice, but they did not have it yet. No one had it. Nordstrom Canada didn't have it yet. And I went to Sephora and they didn't have it yet either. So I went with my go to 505 Central Matte, which I wanted to get anyway. The previous Rouge Dior, they also have a corresponding 505 Central Matte. Most of the time with Dior, the shade numbers have carried on, even if they've relaunched the lipstick. So you'll find your shade in the new version of Rouge Dior. And if you don't have the exact shade number, there usually always is a corresponding very similar shade. But the 505 Central Matte and the 999 are shades that they, they've carried out through the years. Okay, the next difference is that this is a thinner kind of bullet. It is more like the Rouge Dior Attic. So with the original Rouge Dior, it is like a traditional lipstick bullet. They've come with a thinner, more streamlined, streamlined bullet that is similar to, this is the Rouge Dior Attic. So you can see, similar to that, but it has the body of the Rouge Dior lipstick. So I am going to swatch this for you guys. This is how it looks. It's like a beige rose. A brownie beige rose. Okay, so I'm going to show you the application. This one is has floral skin care like the other formula, the formula before this, but this one now um, boasts of 16 hour wear. It is also marketed as a completely transfer proof lipstick that is the first one from Dior that is on a bullet form. The Rouge Dior liquid, that one is transfer free, but that one, that formula is more like a liquid matte lipstick. This one is the first transfer free that is not in a liquid format, but, and also has a beautiful texture to it. It almost feels like a lip balm. I actually, I'm so impressed with the way this feels on the lip. You will not think you're applying a matte lipstick. 
so they told me the formula is amazing so the only way to, to know that is to try it on your lip and feel it for yourself and I absolutely agree this has no shine as you can see but it's not the drying out kind you can still see a slight slight sheen but it really looks like a matte on the lip and it doesn't dry down to that powdery velvet kind of matte formula where it just feels cracky and cakey after a while it's a very nourishing formula and you feel that right off the bat i've had this now for an hour setting up filming even without the lip glow oil, it felt and feels amazing. Because sometimes with some matte lipsticks, even if I put a lip glow oil or a topper, it feels dry, dehydrating and cracky. This one doesn't do that. So this is the first impression that I have of this lipstick formula. I can't wait to show you guys and to try the 999. I actually wanted to do a video with like three shades at least to show you guys how it looks but i could not wait i really wanted to share my first impressions on this because this is definitely a big launch for the brand every fall they always have a humongous lipstick launch for designer brands and this is the one for 2022 i absolutely lo love it well love might be a strong word but i enjoy it for now my first impressions this is day one i love the texture i like how it feels on my lip i like the finish it's matte but it doesn't look dry and most of all i really like the bullet i think this is the most elegant lip packaging i've seen in a while so that is it you guys i hope you found this video interesting and informative if you have any questions as usual you can leave it in the comments down below thank you guys for watching i hope you're staying safe and happy wherever you are and i hope you guys have a great day or a great evening